Hello everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your oh, weekly reading for Aquarius. How are you guys, Aquarius? Oops. Hope all's well. Let's see what your overall energies are this week. General read. Any aspect of your life. We have a couple of cards there. Ooh. Seeking the truth. Trusting. Some of you are trying to figure something out. You're seeking truth. It's telling you to trust. Okay? Trust. Yeah, kind of going with the flow. Things are about to start moving here. Okay? Some of you are kind of going within. Trying to figure something out. You're looking for new clarity. Okay? Seeing the truth. I see some beautiful trust here. See? Trusting in the flow. Beautiful. I like this energy because I feel that it's an energy of just going with the flow. There's a, It's a 10. A cycle has ended. So it's something you figured out. So it could be an energy of just trusting in yourself, trusting in the process, and just going with the flow. Yeah, you got someone coming in. That's the person who goes with the flow. Yeah. All right. Aquarius. Looks like you got someone that's the calling card. It's a person exploring their feelings. It's a communication. Someone taking action to communicate. They want to start something. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. That's, a, that's an energy of something you may be wanting. Now, this is a person here. They only kind of give so much at first till they get to know you, but it's about offering the cup. So you have an opportunity coming in. This is something you may be wanting, wishing for. Okay, there's that opportunity. Things are starting to move in the flow. Now, it looks like it's very emotional, okay? But it's also an energy of being careful what you're wishing for here, <laughs> okay? But it actually looks, it's to me, I mean, it's often a person who kind of wears a mask at first, okay? They don't really show their true self at first. They keep a lot to themselves, okay? But I, I feel this is an opportunity, okay? See, it's about trusting, some of you are having trouble trusting. You got trust issues. It's same to go with the flow. And it could be this person too. They keep things to themselves because they have trust issues. Okay. But I feel we got some energy of just kind of going with the flow. It's a five, a temporary energy. Uh, it's an energy of somebody wanting to build. Could be a person you work with. Okay. A little bit of frustration here. Yeah. Somebody wants to build here. It could be do someone doing a little inner work, working on their trust issues. That's what it looks like, seeking truth. Someone seeing the truth. Oh, yeah, we got a person who's uh, definitely doing some serious thinking and analyzing, trying to be very logical. So it looks like a head and heart decision. Yeah. Ooh. Trusting in the process. Yeah, see, obstacles, challenges, it's an energy of an inner struggle here. Okay, this is somebody overcoming something, overcoming trust issues. Yeah, this is someone quite discerning, very structured, often disciplined. Sometimes they come across as cold. This isn't a cold person, okay? They're just careful. They're cautious how much they give. Yeah, they don't trust, but they're working on it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, also a little indecision. Somebody who can be indecisive. But this is a person who's now clear. They're, this is a person, when the King of Swords comes out, it's a person who's now becoming confident, okay, about it. Now, this could be a job situation, but I do see the dating card. That's my dating card, the communication. So, yeah, I feel like someone's about to give you an, um, yeah, something you could be waiting for. Someone's about to make you some kind of a offer. Could be a love letter, a communication, an invitation. So someone working on their trust. They may even they may even talk about that. Okay, definitely there's communication. So it's overcoming obstacles. This is an energy of obstacles overcoming them. So this is somebody who's kind of you know fighting for something they want here. But this is the energy of someone who may have failed to see. Okay, and that could be yourself too. This could actually be yourself here, Aquarius. Okay, someone who failed to see it. But it's a definitely an energy of indecision. And I see somebody not sure, you know, because I this is often uh, an energy of waiting. Waiting for news, waiting for communication. See where this takes you. Let's have a look at that Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here? 
Why is this Knight of Cups here? Yeah, so someone definitely putting themselves out there. See, it's, the person's pretty happy, positive. See, it's energy of someone who's about to wear their heart on their sleeve. <laughs> Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Someone's working through trust issues. See, they keep everything to themselves because they don't trust. You see? Yeah, someone's working on themselves. You know, just letting it flow. A little heart chakra energy there. Yeah, see, this is someone who offered one little cup. They had a tendency to keep things to themselves. See, they kept everything to themselves. They didn't share their feelings with anyone. Yeah, why? Because they don't trust. So there we go. But it looks like there's that, they're offering you a cup here. <laughs> Fresh new start, an opportunity. Their cup actually runneth over. Ooh, we have the birth of something new. We have the Empress energy. So it's a healing. This person's gone through a healing here. Okay. Well, they've been doing some inner work. Perfecting their craft and skills. Yeah, you have an Emperor. Someone leveling up. Very logical. Emperor, very logical. This person doesn't just trust anybody. They don't trust easy, but they're working on it. Yeah, maybe a little Gemini energy. They're manifesting. This is someone here. Look at that. They have all the tools they need. They have everything they need. They're ready to manifest. And they're going. And it's going to be through communication. This is someone who's gone within, trying to figure out how they feel, what it is they want, what makes them happy. So there you go. You have an emperor coming in. Emperor and empress right here too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is somebody tempering. See? Somebody working on their temper, okay, learning or energy of taking action, overcoming obstacles. Uh, they're definitely, you know, tempering their passion and emotions. You know, it's an energy of someone who just kind of pulls back doing something different. Yeah, so someone just t t getting out of their head too. It's obviously someone who's an overthinker. Okay, they manifest. It's possible they have indecision because if it's a Gemini, they can be quite indecisive. Okay, but this is a person who's now confident. They have the tools, the information, everything they need. They're mad, and I, it could be both of you having trust issues. Maybe you mirror each other, and you're going to overcome this. I see there's going to be some talk and communication. Little uh, sad energy. See, overcoming challenges. This is someone who tries to avoid confrontation. See, it's an energy of someone who tries to avoid confrontation. We know, we know that sages try to avoid it. Okay. Yeah, so there's definitely, this person's just an energy of just kind of calming down, pulling back, trying something different. Yeah, just being patient, learning to be patient. This is a person who generally moves very fast. So there's definitely, this person's going through a learning experience here, but they're logical. It looks like a head and heart decision. Yeah, look at that, beautiful. This could have been someone who was indecisive or failed to see. Now, this could be a person in your social circle well, maybe there was another person involved. This person kept it to themselves. I don't really see a lot of that. It's more of a happy news, positive news, and invitation. Actually, it looks like they're indecisive about something. What they're indecisive about. I feel they're kind of private. They don't share a lot. <clears throat> they don't share a lot of their feelings. They keep it to themselves. It's, a, it's an energy of somebody who wasn't ready to talk, okay? They weren't ready to share. Well, they certainly are now. I see an invitation, some kind of event, positive news, trying something different. This person is going to invite you, maybe introduce you to some friends or family. Um, but it is possible there was other people involved here too. See, competition, conflict, drama. This person's trying to avoid it. This is a person who wants to avoid it. But they, if they have to... <laughs> fight for what they want they will because we know the emperor is someone who goes after what they want but i feel it's an energy of someone trying to avoid confrontation there could be some kind of jealousy or something too often the five of uh, wands is jealousy but it's just obstacles challenge i feel there's a lot there's been some inner conflict and i feel it has a lot to do with this person tempering their thoughts their emotions their passion you see it's someone who i feel at some point 
wasn't taking any action is what it actually feels like. Well, they are now. Look at theirs. We have two people. This is a soulmate connection, a friend. Now, this could be someone you meet through a friend or a friend or someone you work with. Okay. But there's this indecision. This is somebody who was indecisive. Now, it could be about introducing it to friends and family or maybe approaching you, talking to you. So this is often a person who likes a one-on-one. -on -one. They don't like to and maybe involve other people. They're trying to avoid something here. I feel it's confrontation. What is this three of wands about? Why is it here? Yeah, so there's an energy of the waiting period is over. Something ended very painfully. It's finished. Yeah, this could be someone who stabbed someone in the back here too. This person may have been stabbed in the back by someone so they don't share, they don't trust. I feel this person's going to talk to you, uh, give you some kind of explanation if something happened. It could be an apology, but it's really just a person, like I say, they offer one little cup. They don't share a lot of their feelings. They keep it to themselves. So this is someone, and I don't think this person likes a lot of gossip, okay? They don't like involving people, um, yeah, so, but it looks like there was something that happened, some kind of confrontation. They don't like public confrontations either, okay? They don't, I, I feel they're trying to avoid something here. Yeah, but you gotta, they're, they're offering a cup. Their cup runneth over. It looks like an invitation. They're gonna, they're, they're, this person's gonna try something different. <laughs> they may be different than your usual type too, but they looks like they could be in your social circle. Yeah, they don't like drama. They don't like involving other people or getting involved in other people's drama. So let's have a look as who they are. Let's have a look at the Ten of Swords. Something ended painfully, though, because of it. So that's what I feel. This person doesn't trust. Someone may have stabbed them in the back. They may have told somebody something. Now they don't trust. This is one of those kind of people. When they get burned, they're usually done with someone. Yeah. Yeah. This is someone who keeps things to themselves. They trust their intuition. Okay. If something doesn't feel right. You see, they don't trust easily. They definitely internalize things. You might know who this is. I feel they're in your social circle. They want to connect with you, though. They want to talk. It's about seeing eye to eye. Okay? Sharing, feeling, sharing emotion. So I feel it's a person who's, like I say, going with the flow. Okay? Learning to trust again is what I feel. Mm-hmm. Could be yourself. In fact, it could be both of you, the emperor and the empress. Yeah, this is someone who uh, took a risk at some point. They took a leap of faith, little Aries energy or Scorpio. doesn't matter. They took a leap of faith. They took a risk. And then there was conflict, competition, drama, jealousy, whatever it was. So, yeah, this is definitely a person who's a little bit cautious. They kind of play it a little safe at first till they're sure. Yeah, see, it's like they took a risk. Things didn't go in their favor. But I feel there's a cycle that's over. This is someone ready to go down a whole new path. It looks like we have a person leaving something behind. One last look over their shoulder. Okay. Yeah. So it has to do with justice and balance being fair. This person's pretty logical. I feel they're trying to be fair. Okay. Or someone wasn't fair to them. Uh, it's an energy of two people being fair. See, doing what's right. Uh, definitely some Libra energy there, Aquarius. Libra and Gemini. But it's an energy of this person. I wonder if you mirror each other. You both have trust issues. You both have something here. See, not trusting. Learning to go with the flow. Learning to trust again. After being stabbed in the back. Some people can. They can forgive. Some people find it a little harder. I mean, it depends what it is. But it looks like someone, once this person's burned, they don't forget. <laughs> Keeping score, they keep it to themselves. Yeah, they're, they're private. They don't share a whole lot. If they hear gossip, they don't repeat it. Okay. Yeah, so there it is. It's about partnering up. This could be a business owner. They don't share a lot about their financial well-being. See a place where people socialize, where they congregate, where they spend money. It's a safe place. Okay. Safety, security, financial stability. This is someone who probably is going to ask you out. 
I feel like they, it's a person who doesn't like to do it in front of people. They don't, uh, and it's also someone who may, maybe not too crazy, at least at first, after they get to know you more about public displays of affection, creating jealousy, okay, or conflict. I feel they just try to avoid, it's, it's energy of someone just kind of calming down, tempering their passions, being patient, okay. Maybe somebody, something ended because a person uh, got angry, but it feels to me like they're trying to avoid confrontation, okay? I mean, maybe it's a person who got angry and they have a bit of a temper. Could be for some of you. It really feels more of avoiding because, you know, the Sag energy more often avoids. Sag, Sag generally tries to avoid it, but if they have to, they'll fight for what they want. Yeah, we have yeah, someone tempering their passions, emotions. Yeah, we've got a person here who's definitely someone thinking about love. Yeah, they're actually very emotional, but they see they're logical. Someone, this person's make a head and heart decision. They keep their feelings to themselves until they know they can trust somebody to share you know, their secrets. See, their innermost secrets. <laughs> Ooh. A little bit of a mystery here. Mm -hmm. You might know who this person is. They're in your social circle, a friend of a friend. Tell me about this King of Cups. What does this person want? Ooh, that came flying out. What do they want? Well, this person's lonely. Yeah, they're feeling kind of lonely, feeling a little lack left out in the cold. But I'm going to to one thing I will. Like I say, if somebody uh, starts a public altercation, uh, they bring drama. In chaos, this is somebody who will ghost and ignore, but they are lonely. I can see this person being lonely, okay? This energy of lack um, could be some kind of insecurities, but it looks like lack, the victim. It's an energy of someone here. It's often an energy of someone here who creates a lot of drama and then acts like the victim, okay? So I feel this is someone who's learned. Um, not to repeat gossip, to repeat things, keep it a secret. Mum's the word, okay? So not sure what's quite happening there. It's going to come out probably with a few more cards. Yeah, yeah. So someone definitely lonely, definitely enjoying the fruits of their labor. Someone longing for love. They have everything they need. So that could be something that's ended here. This person's single. I, they're emotionally mature. I, I mean, I can see their energy. It says somebody here, but it looks as though they're lonely or single, or it could be somebody wanting to know if you are, but there's something lacking, some kind of lack. You know, I mean, it. I hate to say it just like lack because it feels like it's not an issue about money. This could be someone who acts like they don't have any money until they know they can trust someone because if they're an emperor. They could be a business owner, have lots of money. So I feel like it's just trust issues. But this is somebody I feel who's, like I say, they're enjoying the fruits of their labors, but they're alone. They're single. They're longing for love. Someone here is definitely wanting love. So I feel they have to learn to trust again. And so this is someone who's been burned. They've been hurt. Hmm. Yeah, very guarded. See, it's learning to let their guard down. They're very careful what they believe. That's my believer card. So someone who keeps people at a distance, arm's length because of trust. This is someone who's learning to love again, learning to trust. Trusting in the process. I actually feel both people do. Both of you. You might mirror each other. That could be the why the magician is there. But I feel some kind of talk. It has to do with about being fair, being balanced, doing things right. And we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Co Swords. This is energy. This is two people who could you could probably communicate very well. See, it's an energy of a things going in both people's favor here. Talking, communicating, taking a leap of faith. But this is someone who took a risk at some point. They took a risk, threw caution to the wind, and then they got burned. Now, I don't know if you've cut this person out or they've cut you out, but it looks more like a communication where you're both, I think both of you are very discerning, very wise. Yeah, you trust your both, you know, your inner wisdom. It's like you both know. It's an energy of learning things the hard way sometimes. Not to repeat gossip, to keep it to yourself, mums the word, but there's a lot of inner wisdom. See, both of you are very wise. 
Uh, I actually, you know, it's interesting here because I feel like there's a, actually a pretty good connection where you could talk. I feel this person can talk to you. They don't just trust anybody. This is someone who doesn't just trust anyone. They may trust you, though. It's possible, or you're just not trusting each other. But generally, the emperor and the empress are two people who overcome that. But it's the energy of being wise, not being a pushover. See, someone here is... Um, like, I, I feel like you both have a similar energy. You mirror each other in some way. So let's see what this Empress energy has. Yeah, teamwork, cooperation, compromise, compatibility, complementing each other, the things you have in common. Yeah. Some kind of communication here. You have something in common. It's trust issues. <laughs> and maybe some friends, like you both maybe dealt with this situation. Maybe you're both the same. Somebody burns you, you're just kind of done. Yeah. So the situation ended painfully, but I feel someone stabbed someone in the back. It's like they told, shared something and the person stabbed them in the back. So, yeah. Tell me about this emperor. There we go. Yeah, so somebody else, see their structure, their lifestyle, they're strict, disciplined, okay? The way they conduct themselves. This is someone who thinks things through, becoming decisive. So this is person's pretty decisive. They're now clear. See? It's their habit, their structure, their routine, schedules. Um, what else could it be? Um, it's a de definitely an energy of somebody who's kind of got that neutral, lacking emotion. Because, you know, the Hierophant's somebody who, you know, doesn't connect emotionally. They keep their emotions out of it. So, but I feel it has something to do with their lifestyle, their habits, their day-to-day -day life, their routine. They definitely work. I feel they work a lot. But it's definitely a person who's working on their trust issues. I feel that whoever it is is overcoming it. In fact, I feel like you both have trust issues. And it does look like you're going to overcome it. But when you come out of that energy, you're always much more discerning, a lot wiser. So you have something in common, I feel. <laughs> Structure, habits, the way you conduct yourselves. <laughs> trying to stay neutral, trying not to get into the middle of other people's drama and confrontation. So... Yeah, so somebody who's careful what they believe, they keep people at arm's distance, arm's length, you see? So someone pulling back, trying something different. It's a person who trusts their inner knowing. If something feels off, it's probably off. This is a person who tries to avoid things that, you know, really don't concern them. So you have something in common here. Let's have a look at this Two of Cups. I actually feel like you could connect, you know, it's an energy of change, some kind of growth. It's an energy of someone moving on after ending a situation. But this is this is very positive. This is growth, positive change, overcoming obstacles, challenges. This is somebody, you know, trying to trust, trying to trust because they keep everything to themselves. They don't tell anyone anything. It's a tough one. Let's have a look at seeking truth. Yeah, taking a pause, looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things from another person's point of view. My shoe. Sorry, my shoe was stuck. I'm trying to get my legs up on the chair to be more comfortable. So there we go with the hanged man. See the pause, looking at things from a different perspective. Yeah, see, there it is. Staying, this is someone trying not to be ruled by their emotions. See, this is someone who let their emotions get the best of them. And they learned, I feel the hard way, the school of hard knocks, you see. <laughs> yeah. Once bitten, twice shy, they say, right? But yeah, they're definitely coming in, I feel. This is somebody, you know, staying on course, coming in. Looks pretty good. Looks like they're learning to kind of just go with the flow and see what happens. Energy of just going with the flow, seeing what happens. But it's energy of someone moving away. Uh, from something too, moving away from people, you know, possibly even maybe relocating, but moving away from certain people. Okay, so there's some kind of indecision or decision. I don't know if it's yourself or this person, or in fact both of you. Maybe both have in you know indecisive. <laughs> 
it's definitely time for change i'll tell you that wow yeah see there it is this energy of someone who's at that time in their life at crossroads they're lonely there's definitely somebody who's kind of lonely i feel they spend a lot of time alone i definitely just get that vibe now they hold everything in yeah very careful what they believe very very careful they don't just believe anything but i feel like this is an energy of someone at a crossroads they're lonely this is someone looking for love they're longing for love i do feel they're a lot more emotional uh, than they come across when you meet this person they might seem a little strict or lacking emotion but they're actually not okay in fact you both may have some of that energy they're actually quite emotional inside yeah you know aquarius <laughs> yeah yeah so there it is see being patient investing waiting for the right opportunity i feel this is someone who's going to approach you now it's possible you're a little unapproachable okay it's possible and it could be both of you with that energy things you have in common the energy but this is also an energy of having to cooperate and compromise to go down this path see uh, to date take things to the next level introducing to friends partnering up it looks like there's going to be an invitation some they're trying something different they're going to try something here okay there's the opportunity solid they you know i feel this is someone putting their best foot forward i feel like you already have met this person i feel you've already drank from each other's cup you see eye to eye on something here uh, but i feel like it's a situation it's about you know um, planting the seed building the foundation taking it to the next level it's an energy of change somebody's definitely leaving something behind here though tell me about this flow yeah truth see this is somebody wants to have success victory truth they're going within where was that hanged man it's here somewhere oh it's up here see going within seeing the truth they need to they need to work on their trust issues they need to learn to trust again if they want to have success if they want love because you got a king of cups here so someone definitely uh, it could be yourself too you know I'm not seeing the queen of cups here yet <laughs> you could be the king you could be the queen too take it how it resonates Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, a lot of Cancer, uh, Pisces, maybe a little Scorpio for some of you. Tell me about this patience paying off. This is someone also learning to be patient. Okay, it could be something there, but also has to do with the timing. That's why I almost feel like you've already connected. It just didn't go anywhere. But I, I feel this could. Well, there's the Queen of Cups. Yeah, reciprocity. Waiting for someone to reciprocate. Of course you are, Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, waiting patiently for someone to invest emotionally. But it goes both ways, equal give and take. I feel like you're going to talk. You and a person are going to have a conversation. I mean, you could just meet this person. It could be someone around you waiting to approach you. Okay, if you're guarded and they're guarded, it's about letting the guard down. See, someone, both people needed to let the guard down. Because we, with the king and queen of swords, often are guarded. Okay, why? Because you're wise. You've learned. <laughs> You've learned the hard way, right? <laughs> but it's about being patient. I. This is actually very lovely because it has to do with trusting in the process enough to be patient for someone to reach out. I actually feel like you'll reciprocate. I feel like you both kind of feel the same. I feel like you're going to see eye to eye on some things here. I, don't, I Some of you know who this is. Others of you may not. Okay, But it, the energy of the inner wisdom, this is somebody who, like I say, has been stabbed in the back. Now they don't say anything. They keep it a secret. They keep everything to themselves. They don't share until they know they can trust. They don't trust easy. But yeah, they want to. They definitely want a partnership. They want to partner up. So I don't know if there's an event coming up, something this that's going on. They want to take you, or it's an energy, also an energy of someone, kind of wanting to approach somebody, and they're a little unapproachable because they're guarded. I mean, approaching for a conversation. So watch your words. See two people tempering their words, watching your words. 
okay? Sometimes words cut, they hurt, um, maybe because you've both been burned, okay? Yeah, whatever it is, it's solid, it's reliable, they're reaching out. I think you're going to go for this. I think you feel you're going to feel the same. I feel like you have common energy. You feel, maybe you feel the same about them as they do about you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I got to pull out another card. I'm going to pull out a, an oracle card. All right, Aquarius, where are you headed? Yeah, rebuilding the heart chakra. There we go. It's been a popular card today. See, rebuilding, learning to trust again, trusting your heart, head and heart decision. See, both of you learning to trust, but you're, you're definitely never going to be pushovers again. Not neither one of you. Okay. But it's about tempering your words, your thoughts, your passions. Okay. Just being calm, talking and communicating, sharing your feelings, telling each other what makes you happy, what you like, what you don't like. So what a lovely energy. Yeah, see, believing that this can succeed, it's a six. I actually feel there could be success here, just learning to go with the flow. And it's also an energy, when you go with the flow, you let go of the outcome. You just kind of go with it, see where it goes, enjoy each other's company, okay? I see you possibly dating this person a few times before they introduce you to some friends and family. But I also see someone leaving some people behind. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Believe in success. Beautiful energy. Taking those lessons learned and moving forward, applying them to this situation. I feel like it's both of you learning to trust, learning to make that head and heart decision. Yeah, there it is. Something blossoming between you and this person. There's a lot of some passion here. Okay. It's taking it, taking it to the next level. So something is definitely blossoming. How's that fire? There's, a, there's definitely a little fire energy here. Definitely, a, I, I would have to say a physical attraction. So do take care, okay? you got time here. I don't feel like this is happening uh, right away. I feel, for some reason, I feel, I mean, you're both at a different, everyone's level, timing is different, but uh, I feel I, we're looking at, I don't know, I mean, there's a cycle here, so I would have to say 10 days, six weeks, things like that. Nothing super long. I don't, I don't really feel like this is something that's going to happen now. I don't get that now energy, okay? Uh, I get more like um, wherever it is, maybe you, you travel in the same social circle. Maybe there's some place you go that this person goes, okay? That could be a little bit of a hint. Um, it's all, I feel it, it's going to happen when you let your guard down. They're letting their guard down. They're ready to wear their heart on their sleeve. They're going to come in that way. <laughs> they're going to try something different. Oh, they're, they're different. Maybe they're just different than your usual type. And maybe you're the one who's a little guarded. I don't know. But, you know, this is an energy of positive energy. Something is blossoming. I mean, once that fire's lit, things start to move fairly quickly. Sword energy is actually faster than fire it's very swift it's people who make quick sudden decisions but it's also it's energy of learning uh, with that uh, sword energy to think things through someone's thinking things through before they approach you they're going to watch their words okay so it's about not just thinking it's about listening okay thinking things through before you speak I just feel that you need to both let your guard down. They're going to be the one I feel to do it first. Okay, they're, they're, they're coming in to do it first, I feel. Okay, so get yourself ready. Okay, it's coming. I actually feel like you're, I think you're going to enjoy this. It's about trusting in this process, you know, reciprocating. Just give a little bit at first, you know, explain the situation if you have tr trust issues. Okay. King and Queen of Cups, King and Queen of Swords, pretty good energy. Take care. We'll see you soon.